hello friends welcome in this video tutorial we are going to learn what is builder pattern what are the benefits of builder pattern and how to create the builder pattern so what is a builder pattern a builder pattern is a creational design pattern that relates to creation of objects so basically we use builder pattern to set up complex objects with the help of fluid interface the main aim of builder pattern is to separate the construction of complex object so that the same construction process can be used to create different representation so where should you use the builder pattern uh, let's suppose a scenario where you are keep on adding parameters to your constructor or you have too many constructor with different number of parameters then perhaps you should start reflecting the code to use the builder pattern the main benefits of the pattern is that you can create immutable objects that does not change its state. For example, in a user management system, once the user is logged in, its state does not change. Right. Once the user is logged in, its state does not change for that particular session. Another benefit is that you do not need to provide null to the optional parameter to the constructor. And thus it minimizes the number of parameters in your constructor and improves the readability of your code. So, how to create the builder pattern? So, there are a couple of ways to create the builder pattern. In this video, we will discuss the most popular one and the one which I like the most. So, basically, what we will do is uh, we will create a class with name builder, which will be responsible to fully construct the object. So, before we start coding, let's first have a look at the step by step process on how to create the builder pattern. So we will declare a class with name user and with fields name, email, phone, gender, city and country and with their gather methods only. We will declare these fields as final so that they can only be initialized one and to make this class as immutable. In the next step we will create uh, our builder class which will be a static inner class inside the user class and we will copy all the fields from the user class to the builder class. In the next step, we will create a constructor and set our methods in builder class. So, as you can see, we have created a constructor and then the set our methods with name, with email, and similarly, we will create set our methods for other fields like city, country, and so on. In the next step, we will create a private constructor uh, in our user class, which will accept builder as its parameter, and this parameter that is our builder class which will be responsible to set up the fields in the user class uh, we have declared this concept as private so that no one can outside the class can construct the user class only the builder class can set up the user class and then in the final step we will create a method with name build inside our builder class and this build method will return the fully construct object of a user class that's delicate the process of constructing the object to the builder class and that's what we have discussed earlier in this video separate the construction of complex object from its representation so now that we have defined all the steps of our development process let's dive into the editor and start writing some code okay so let's start with the first step by creating the user class Okay, so now we will declare all the fields inside the user class as final string name and similarly we will declare the other remaining fields as email phone Xander city country okay now create the getter methods for these fields okay so first step is done so now the second step is to create the builder class inside the user class okay let's do it public Static class builder. 
okay and we will first create the constructor of the builder class public builder builder okay and the next step is we will copy all the fields of the user class inside builder class so let's copy this fields of user class and we will copy it inside the builder class okay so now the next step is to create these parameters for all these fields inside the builder class okay so let's do it public builder with name this will accept the string parameter name set the value of the name field and we will return the builder object itself Okay. Similarly, we will create the set parameters for the remaining fields. Okay. So, with email, email, and email here as well. Okay. now set a method for the phone field okay set a method for the phone field is done now let's create the set a method for the zender field Okay, let's copy this one more time here and let's say this is the set emitter for the city. Okay, and the set emitter for the final field country. country country and country okay okay so next step is to create the private constructor inside the user class so private user and this constructor will accept the builder class as parameter and this will parameter this builder class will set up the fields of the user class so if we copy the fields from here to here and say this dot name builder dot name here builder dot email dot phone builder dot gender finally builder dot country okay okay so the final step is to create the build method inside the builder class that will return the fully constructed object of the user class so let's create it public user build and this will return the user object return new user and we will pass the builder object to this user constructor and 
uh, that's it for the user class we have created all the fields we have created a private constructor and get remittance for all the fields of the user class and we have the static in the class with name builder and we have set remittance for all the fields of the builder method and this set method sets the fields of the user class using the build method so now let's go ahead and test this out uh, there is some type over here okay we have fixed it let's go ahead and run test the builder of class so we say user user and we will use the builder class to construct the user object builder dot with name we will say john with email dot g.com with phone uh, phone let's say nine six five four blah 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 with uh, zender mail with city New York and with country let's say USA and, and finally we'll call the build method to construct this user object and then we will say as out the user object so that we can check whether the user object has been constructed or not by the builder class okay so before running this run main program let's go inside the user class and create the two string methods so that we can test that our user class is, uh, is setting up by the builder class or not so let's go ahead and create the to string method and now we will run this program and we will test the program output okay so the application is building okay so as you can see we have created the user class and set up the user class with the help of the builder class and as you can see we have set name email phone gender all the fields within the builder class okay so thanks for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe to it and give it a thumbs up thank you goodbye